Have you ever wanted to know how you can also create your own lot or lookup tables in Premiere Pro so you can either just consistently create the same kind of look across multiple clips of yours very easily and very fast or even potentially sell it to other people like you see all these favorite influencers of yours doing? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. It's actually a whole lot simpler than you would probably imagine. Let's get right into it and start creating your own lot. So as you can see, I have this clip on my timeline right here. And the first thing I like to do when I, it comes to creating lots is I like to create an adjustment layer. And so to do that, you just wanna right click uh, and then uh, go to new item, click on adjustment layer, and it's going to automatically set the same parameters as your sequence is. And then I like to just drag that on top of my clip. And I like to do my color grading on top of that so I can more easily like uh, make changes, enable it, disable it, and so on. Next up, you want to go to Lumetri Color, okay? If you don't have that enabled, you can go to the top to window and make sure Lumetri Color is clicked right here. And here at Lumetri Color, you can make all the adjustments that you want to create the specific kind of look that you will create the lot from. And if you don't know, lots are kind of like, you know, filters on Instagram. Uh, they, they are a file that you can just apply to any footage of yours and create uh, the same kind of look and apply the same kind of settings that you did when you created that lot, right? So, I don't know, I'm just gonna add a bit more orange to this clip, for example, like, uh, lower the saturation a bit. I'm gonna lower the highlights a bit, whatever, add some more contrast. Um, I'm just doing this as a demo, right? So you'd obviously like take your time here. You can even adjust uh, certain colors here, the saturation of them, uh, whatever it is. So you would make all your, all your adjustments here, right? Add the different Lumetri color settings, maybe even add like a nice little curve to it. Um, and uh, so on. You can add some uh, different adjustments as well here, change the vibrance, saturation, whatever you want, right? You would create your specific kind of look that you are going for. So right now, by just playing around with the settings randomly, this is what I created, this is the before, this is the after. If you want to enable or disable layer, for example, the adjustment layer in this case, you can just press V on your keyboard to see what you are creating. And now, if I wanted to put this into a lot, what I have to do is just come here to where it says Lumetri Color. <clears throat> then I'm going to right click and then you can either uh, export it in look uh, or a dot cube file. Now, the thing is, if you are exporting it with the dot look file, uh, then it's going to be only good for other Premiere Pro users. Uh, but you will be able to also save things like these uh, faded film and, and those kind of settings. Or you can also use the cube file, which is what most lots are in on the internet. And that's more of a, a general kind of format. It's not only good for Premiere, but you can also use it in Photoshop, Final Cut, you know, DaVinci Resolve, like all the editing softwares basically. And uh, you can just name it here. Like I'm just gonna name it Vince's lot. All right, and you can select where you want it to be stored. I'm just gonna export it on my desktop and save it. It's right here. The file is right here. So I could go ahead and uh, import this into any editing software and use it like a regular lot that I would have downloaded from the internet. You can also save uh, just presets here if you click on save preset and then it's not gonna be like a file outside of Premiere. It's not gonna be exported into like a separate file but you will be able to choose your um, you know preset here inside of Lumetri Color. So, it's simple as that, you just go ahead, you create the look on a certain file that you are looking to uh, you know, put into a lot, and then you right click here, and you click on export cube, and that's it, you got your lot. You can either start selling it on the internet, or using it in different projects of yours, and so on. So, hope this was valuable for you. If it was, check out the channel for more videos like this, and I will see you in the next one.